All right, chat. So hold on, let me. So in this video, hold on, let me try to make it over this fence. But in this video, I don't know if y'all keep up with my Instagram. Then y'all know I just recently ordered some new brakes. But I didn't record the process of me putting them on. But I wish I did. They're pretty easy. I just kind of struggled with uh, removing the bronze or the copper ring from the brake line. But after that was done, or after I got the hang of it on the, this one, I uh, just did the other one. But I did have some help from my homeboy. Shout out to my boy, Leo. Uh, he's, I don't think he has an Instagram, but if he does, I'm gonna put it on the description. But he's not no, he's not a mechanic, but he, st he still helped me out. And honestly, we got this shit done faster than I probably would've taken me by myself. But yeah, let me show y'all, well, well, let me show you the old ones. I'm gonna put them up for sale. Uh, it's gonna be cheap, like 150, 200. Uh, they're all, it's all in good shape, but I don't know why, but whenever I would drive, I'd press the brakes, start squeaking. I'm pretty sure it's just because of the rotors, but I honestly don't know, because my pads seem fine. Let me, let me put the camera. Sorry, so yeah, as you can see, the pads are literally, they were literally new. I don't know why the fuck they start squeal squealing or make that little squeaky noise. I'm pretty sure it's because of the rotors. The rotors, they do look, you know, they don't look in the best shape, but yeah, let me know who wants these. I'll sell them 150. I'm firm on 150 because, I mean, the calipers, they're fucking new. The rotors, uh, they, I mean, you could still probably put them on, but the pads, as you can see, the pads are still in good shape. Let me show you the other one. Y'all can see. It's still in good shape, but um, I don't mind those boxes on my brother's rims, but let me show you the reveal. Oh, God. Oh, my fault, I gotta clean my camera before I show y'all. God damn. Uh, a lot of people, y'all might know that I was trying to sell this truck. I had did, I did lose motivation for it. I'm still, you know, half motivation still there, but I'm trying to gain motivation back. So I'm just trying to fix it. Try this side. Ooh, you can see. I feel like the red does look good on this truck, but y'all let me know what y'all think. I won't be changing the color no more. Fuck that shit. Cause as you can see, I try changing them. I'm not a professional, but yeah, man. Look, looks sexy. I honestly don't know. I don't know where I left my keys at, so I probably won't give y'all a cold start. But yeah, man, uh, next thing up is I, I will be getting my coolant fixed because I do have a leak. Um, and then after that, I will be getting these vents, the Vortec badges on both sides. And then what else? Let me see, let me see, let me see. I think my transmission my transmission is leaking, so I'm going to go get that fixed. I'm not much of a transmission expert, but we'll, we'll get that sorted out sooner or later. And <laughs> as you can see, we had trouble um, moving the first brake line. Or like at least the copper things. I don't know if I can show y'all, but let's see. I can't. So I can't show y'all because of the way my rims are set up. Or maybe I could. Let me see. Let me try it one more time. All right. So this one right here. Uh, this one right here. This one you. It does have two copper rings. Let me see if I can find. It does have these little rings, and you have to remove both of them. But the one on the outer side was harder because it's like stuck on there. Because you know cause the way you torque it. But the one on the inside, or the one, I, I don't know how the fuck, I don't even know how I explained it, but yeah, the one on the outside, it was just easy to remove. But uh, let me show y'all one more time, and I'm gonna pop the hood and show y'all my, my cooling leak. And I do have a fat, fat electric cutout leak. Well, not a leak, but I believe my valve is fucking up. So I might have to replace the cutout, or I might just say fuck cutout and go dual mufflers. Cause I will, after this, I do want to get a, a true dual, same, like an equal length exhaust. So I could sound like more of a Corvette with an X pipe. Cause the white pipe, I mean, it's good, but the white pipe makes it, you know, it makes that little clap noise, that little bram, bram. It doesn't make it chop the same. You know, with the full equal length exhaust, it makes it sound like more of a Corvette, you know what I'm saying? And that's what I really want. Probably make me make me fall in love with this truck more because as you know my dream car is a c7 or a c6 corvette more of a c7 z06 or a c6 grand sport because who, who doesn't just like to remove the top off the car but yeah let me try that one more time try the little stance because it looks beautiful right now 
I fuck with it more than the purple. I mean, I fuck with the purple, but the red just makes, you know, red. You can never just be red. Red's like the bestest you gonna get. But not to mind. I'm trying to grow out my beard for winter. I know. I get it, chat. It's patchy. I know. I'm trying to work on it. I literally shaved it. Y'all seen it in the last video. I literally grew a beard from the last video to this video. It's just how it is, man. These genetics. But as you can see, chat. Look at that. I still need to bleed them. We didn't bleed them fully because of my dogs. It was getting hot. But yeah, as you can see, they look beautiful. They sit beautiful. I do have, I still I still haven't replaced my clear headlights. I'm still looking for the, the high beams. As you can see, I got some regular as bulbs and anti-hyper flash switchbacks because the ones I do, they do blink a lot. I don't really fuck with that because it makes my tail lights also blink. And these, I believe they're, I forgot what they're called, sequential, where they, I don't know, they're kind of like the Mustang tail lights. Oh, I already popped my hood, but, you know, as if the Mustang tail lights, they start flickering like a different kind of way. Okay, yeah, I still don't have my engine hood, or my cover at least. I will be getting that for my tuner, because I will be dropping this off soon. Because I'm, to, uh, I might get... All internals checked out. I'm gonna go to Chewy to get my injectors cleaned because it's been two years since I'm pretty sure this, these injectors have been cleaned. Uh, but yeah, let me show you where the leak is exactly at. All right, so the leak is coming from this one. Every time I turn it on, it just starts leaking from the bottom. Right now, it's not it's not much of a leak, but I believe my engine is cold. Let me. Let me see if I have any fluid actually because it's kind of getting empty, but I will be upgrading this one to uh, maybe a metal one or not a, a fabricated one because I mean, this one sits, this one, yeah, it gets the job done. But you pop the hood, you see this fat 6 0, and you see that you see that ugly ass cooling reservoir. Look at that, I'm gonna sit right with me. All right, so. Damn, I lost a lot of brake fluid, but I will begin also an, a custom fabricated intake, uh, ported TBSS as y'all know, but that might come later on in the future. I'm trying to get this thing up and running strong again. But as you can see, this it's good, it's, it's beautiful. Also, let me know if any of y'all are in search of a white HD hood. I do have it for sale. Give me, let's see. I'll put it up for 550. I don't know, that's a lot. I feel like it isn't. I paid almost 300 for the hood and then, you know, the paint. It's an extra 200. Or not, I mean, so at least 150 and then this strip was 100. So I think it gets around 550 is fair to me. But I, will, I would do want to trade it for a cow hood plus a little bit of cash on my end, just a little. And these welds, I like them, but I might trade them. I might down, downgrade to some race stars. I still don't know. But yeah, let me know what I want to see next. I could replace this one and get the Willwood one, but I'm not gonna waste 900, but however much it's cost, I know it's expensive. But yeah, after, let me see, let me go through y'all, let me go through the list. All right, brakes done. Next is the leak, making sure this truck is up and running 100%, then that's next. And after that's done, um, I'm gonna see if I can fix the the valve leak or whatever the fuck you would call it. Um, my tranny is going higher in temperatures. It is overheating. I don't know if it's because of my cooling leak or I don't know if it's because of the true cool. It might just be the cooling leak. But yeah, I'm gonna do a full coolant flush and I believe a 180 thermostat on the transmission just so it doesn't start overheating again. And with some water wetter, that would help it way more. You know what I'm saying? But uh, yeah, let me, let me close my hood real quick. Okay. But yeah, let me know what you think about these welds. I haven't made an update video, but these are really light. I honestly have not spun out since I got these. I mean, it hasn't been raining, but only bad thing about it is you do lose thread fast. Could have sworn I just had way more thread than this. 
Aber ja, Messi war gescheuert. Der the... Valve League. Ich weiß nicht, aber es ist irgendwo da oben. Du siehst, das ist, wo meine Cutouts sind. Das ist, wo ich denke, der Leak ist gekommen. Weil, wenn es ein Muffler ist, es rattelt viel. Aber wenn ich die Valve öffne, es rattelt nicht. Das ist ein bisschen weird. Aber in Suspension, ich werde das jetzt behalten. Vielleicht im nächsten Jahr. Ich werde eine Relocation-Kit mit der Monster Notch machen. Ihr werdet mich fragen, warum ihr eine Relocation-Kit mit der Monster Notch machen wollt, wenn ihr auf Caltrax seid. Ich möchte einfach schneller reiten. I probably won't go lower. If anything, I'd go two more inches in the back because I honestly don't know if my contracts will hit and I do not want them to hit because they're 400 bucks. I will be fixing also <laughs> this bumper gap because I know y'all hate it. I hate it. Yeah. But it's just a lot of things I want to get done to the truck, which I might get done this year. Well, most of them. And then next year, I'll get the rest of it done. Like the sunroof. It might have to wait till next year because of all of these problems I'm having. I really wanted to get it done this year. But as I said, I don't know if y'all know this. I made a video, but I don't think I posted it. I did I had to get a, a crown. My teeth was fucking up. Right? I don't guess it was fucking up, but it was messed up. I had, it was really sensitive. So I had to get a crown. Um, but yeah, let me know if y'all want to see uh, starlights or a sunroof with starlights. I just want the sunroof, to be honest. I don't really want the starlights because... It kind of ruins the touch of this or the feel of this uh, sweat headliner right now. It was pretty good. But as, as y'all know, I was trying to sell this truck. I was asking. I don't think I was taxing because I know what's. I know what it's worth at least in in my end. I was asking fifteen thousand. I was gonna let it go for fourteen, but uh, people like to waste time. I had someone come over here. He offered me fourteen. We test drove it, and he ended up not buying it. So. I was just fucking tired of just wasting my time. I told him I'm not gonna waste my time no more. Just took the post down and honestly, I'm just gonna keep it. See what God leads me to. If God wants me to get a Corvette, then he will give me a Corvette. If God wants me to get a Coyote, Coyote it is. But I do want to get a Coyote, but just the thought of building this and making this faster than both of them, I just got to. Shout out to my boy Misfire, LOL. He's one of my biggest inspirations. He has one of the fastest NA trucks in Arizona. I believe he is the fastest one, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, but yeah. Also, center console, this one. Yeah, buddy, this center console gotta go. Because I ain't rocking with this no more. I wanted to get the other one, the one with the three cup holders. Because that's storage space on the bottom. And I want to put my cleaning products in here. Because I'm tired of putting them in the back. I don't know if y'all can see it right there. Yeah, but let me know who wants these wants these rotors that I can see pretty girthy and they're heavy as fuck I wouldn't lie they do come with they do will they will only come with the the bolts that will mount onto the spindle I do not have the ones to connect both of the calipers together because I did reuse those but yeah um yeah, I think I'm gonna keep this video short, or I made it already. I probably already made it too long. But let me know what else I want to see in this truck. Oh damn, it's in my hand. But yeah, I do plan on getting the wing. But as I said, the wing alone is 300 plus the color match. I don't even want to think about the money. But yeah, just one, one last look before I end this video. Just so I just want to make a quick video because I know I haven't been. I haven't been uploading lately and that's just my fault. It's just because of the heat. You know, in Texas heat don't play, especially that one, I believe it was like last week, it was 106, which I was not gonna record in that temperature. What the fuck, you got me messed up. But yeah, let me know what else I wanna see. I will be getting the, I will be getting this color match by my boy Static Sam. A lot of people might know him. He's pretty, I consider him famous, He's fucking famous. In the truck world at least or at least in the nnbs community i feel like everyone everyone should know who static sam is uh but yeah let me show you how the front end one last time because it might be color match the next video on low key it's, i love the chrome but i might have to go color match because i am getting bored of the chrome it's nothing personal but yeah i just feel like i just need to switch it up one time i feel like everyone's bored of seeing this chrome it just gives work truck vibes. 
But yeah, what is you doing? Yeah. Oh. My dumbass forgot to take off this back. I'm gonna just put this back right here for now. Uh, but yeah. All right, so before I end this video, um, just wanted to say thank y'all for the love. I know I haven't been active, but y'all still show me love. I believe we're almost at 400 subscribers, which is a lot. Uh, like 400, 400 of y'all folk with me and keep watching this. So I really appreciate y'all. Y'all give me more motivation to keep this build, which is part of the reason why I kept it because I've seen the love y'all showed me. But yeah, before I end the video, I just wanted to see, say shout out to uh, Power Stop. These are the people who, or this is the company that I got my brakes from. I'm not sponsored, but so far they look amazing. So I'm sure, I'm sure they're gonna perform amazing. But yeah, before I end the video, I just wanna say thank y'all so much. Share this video with your mom, grandma, auntie, auntie's auntie, your sister, your stepsister, anybody. And just keep supporting me because this build will be one of the meanest builds in DFW. I guarantee that. And I promise that I will be twin turbo in it. Maybe around the next year because I do need to swap my tranny out. 4060s are not for the win. Puro 4060 a la verga. I mean, puro 4080 a la verga. But I can't cuss because my dad gets mad if I say that shit. But uh, yeah, we'll see you on to the next time. Peace.